friends, time for another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. Let's do the song, The Boys of Blue Hill. It's an Irish tune. Um, very fun tune. I think it's a hornpipe. Do, 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 do. Makes you want to do that. that. That's how you define a hornpipe. Makes you want to do that. Look it up in the music dictionary you have by your bedstand. Okay, let's do this song. Um, all right, I'm just gonna play it once, and then um, I'll play one A, one B at a mid tempo, and then we'll try to do it. we'll learn it step by step after that, very slowly, note by note, phrase by phrase, and I'll have um, all the notes in the tab, all the notes tabbed out in the comments field below. Okay, let's do it. Very joyous tune. Okay, so we're gonna just start it with, um, I'm gonna, st let's start with this. We're gonna start the first quarter, um, starting first finger on A string. Give you a better view. I'm gonna focus on the left hand a little bit. First on the A, to two on D, back to A. Okay, this might be a good piece to loop. All right, I think now that you've done that a little bit, the tune will unfold a little bit more easily. Um, after that, So here's that again. Cool. So we added this. Two on D, open A, and then first on A, one open, Open I'll just try that again. All right, that's the first quarter of the tune. Um, it will also be the third quarter, so it's worth our while to get it down. Um, let's see. I'm going to now add the pickup to that. Pickup to the beginning of the tune is 3-1 on A. Okay, so here's with the pickup. We count in three pickup notes. Those two notes come in on the fourth beat, and we do our tune. One, two, three. Let's do it. We're going to loop it twice. Here we go. One, two, three. Looping is one of the best practice techniques for getting a sense of flow and sort of play, just playing versus thinking. So we looped it twice, 
but I recommend pausing and looping it a whole bunch because this part is repeats two other times in the song. So it's totally worth your while to pause and do that. Become a master, a Jedi master of that piece. Okay, let's move on. Second quarter. Again, I'm going to um, start without the pickup and then add it later. I think that's easier. Um, let me know if you find it more confusing, but it seems to be less confusing to show it that way. So, um, starting right on the first beat, I'm just going to, let me just play the whole second quarter. Here's the whole second quarter with the pickup. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, so starting first on E, we're gonna do this. One, three, low, two, one. There's that again, one. And then we're going to go open, low two, one. Put those two together. Okay. Um, next we have... So it's like a little pattern moving down. I have sort of a mathy uh, formula way of remembering certain patterns, and and that one would be one three two one. And uh, if you're interested in that, and if you have kind of a mind for patterns, uh, it's sort of a uh, doing this pattern in the D scale. Um, Uh, sorry if that's confusing and throwing us off track, but I find it interesting. Um, and you could basically take these tunes, and if you take off little, break off little parts to practice, you could create an exercise book and get really, really good at the fiddle by approaching it just the fiddle tunes, but going deep into them and learning these little bits. Okay. Okay, so um, let me slowly play the second quarter. Okay, here's that again. And the pickup is this, A3 to open E. So I'm going to count you in, three beats and then the pickup, and we do the whole second quarter. One, two, three. All right, cool, cool. Third quarter is the same as the first. So I'll just review it with you, third quarter. And then the fourth quarter is, um, let's see, fourth quarter, whole fourth quarter. So it starts similar to the um, second quarter. And then it does this. So it's almost like an easier simplified version of the second quarter. All right. I'm now just going to slowly play the entire A part with the pickup. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three.
repeat. So I just wanted to repeat it a little bit into a second A, just so you heard how it works. All right. By the way, this is a very simplified version of the tune. I'm also going to make a variations video. Um, my goal with these videos is to make the basic versions even more basic than what you'd find in a book. Just something really so you get a grasp on the tune. Also so that beginners can get involved with it more quickly. Um, and then create a, a variations video which gives you some options and ideas for what you can do with the tune and different ways it's traditionally played. Alright, so the B part we can move on to now. And uh, the good thing about the B part is um, the second half of the B part is the second half of the A. Ba 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 all over again. So most of you, you know, you're kind of already halfway there with the B part. Uh, okay. Um, so we're going to start. Start without the pickup for now. E3 to E1. Down to A3. And back up to 3. I think that's technically hard if you're a beginner. Uh, now let's move on. Low two one open E. And now we're just gonna walk up the scale. Ending on a long fourth finger or pinky finger. At this point, if you happen to be more a beginner at the pinky, I recommend just working on three to four a little bit. Remember, you can write your own exercise books with these tunes. You could take that little bit and transpose, work on it on A string, three to four, then D. Then play them all in a sequence. That's how you can um, just really, in a fun way, become better at the instrument, all right? So back to the task at hand, here's the whole first quarter without the pickup. All right, and now we'll do the pickup. Um, one low two on E. Alright, so I'll count you in three. We'll come in on four with the pickup, those two pickup notes. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Alright, now time for the B part, second quarter. Okay, let's do it. Um, I'm going to play the whole thing. Surprise, it's pretty much, it is the same as the second quarter of the A part. So magically we're, all, we're done with this tune already. I didn't even realize that this, it, the only thing different is the first quarter really. Um, voila. But the second quarter has a different pickup. So this, the pickup is, um, pickups just follow a sort of a logical fashion, in a logical fashion, they're connectors often between maybe one low part of the tune and a high part. You know, you kind of have these notes the, add flow and connection. So uh, so basically we do the second quarter, the same as the A. 
but we just add this pickup, three to low two. Because that's where we're coming from. We're coming from pinky, remember? So after that, our pickup will be three low two. And then we go on. So I'm gonna play the whole second quarter counted in with the pickup. One, two, three. Um, and so that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the entire B part with the pickup and hopefully you got it and it makes sense. Um, here we go. One. Oh, by the way, if it doesn't make sense, just go work on the A part more because the A part is almost entirely the B part. Sorry if I've repeated that too many times, but, and in general, as a take home message from this lesson, I always think like, don't rush to the B part of a tune, really learn the A part, get that down, maybe learn the B part a different day even. And because miraculously, the B part will be a lot easier if you do know the A really well. Here we go, enough talk. One, two, three. Very good. Um, I'm going to close by giving you some ideas for things to practice from the tune, War some warm up exercises. If you were to go and, you know, um, if you want to just get deeper into the tune. So, um, some things you could do would be uh, the D major scale. notes of the D scale on the E string, open one, low two, three, four. Um, another warm up you could do would be like, so sorry, one on A, open A, two on D, open A. Remember we looped that earlier in the lesson. Another little thing you could work on would be one on E, one, three, low two, one, open, low two, one, open. And remember with all these little exercises, you can then transpose them. Then to D. G. And make a composite exercise by putting them in a series. That kind of practice is just fun to me. Um, and I'm trying to give that to you somehow. Okay, um, the, la the last warm up exercise you could do. Three on E, one on E. A3 back to one on E. Tabs for these little exercises are now gonna be included as well in the comments field. But this last one or with any of these, another thing you could do with them would be to add variation, Rith rhythms. And so on. And so that's it for this lesson. Excellent.